morning and welcome back. So, today I will talk about this LB technique. LB technique is the most effective way of depositing thin solid thin films onto solid surfaces and with precise molecular dimensions because we deposit the uh, deposit molecules okay as layers so one layer then another layer of molecules so it has precise molecular dimension which is very important in uh, many technical uh, aspects okay so before i talk about lb technique let me uh, show you how the lb trough looks like i will give you only a uh, only a sketch of that so it is basically Okay, it is basically here. And another, so this is say the end of one end, the other end, here is an other end, other end other end is here attached to a balance okay it measures pressure uh, pressure surface pressure okay and this can move this can move this side or this side okay and here is another end of this machine the whole this machine made up of teflon okay so teflon or sometimes glass are also used and all that so this thing can move from here to here okay and this is you can say that this is like a beaker Okay. In a beaker you put water, so basically in a beaker you put water and one side this one stopper and the other side is movable barrier. So this is uh, the uh, and movable barrier attached to a balance okay, to measure pressure. So now the whole thing is thermostated in a dust free environment and all that. Now what happens? Suppose I keep, so this is a call LB trough, LB trough, LB trough, okay. Now, so suppose we put forget about that. Now, suppose this is pure water, pure water I mean is a very, very pure water, double distilled, deionized water, large volume of water, this is large volume of water. And now, what you do? We put a methylene chloride solution, methylene chloride solution of an amplifier concentrated of an amplifier how much concentration and all that those are empirically determined amplifiers okay so here we put drop drop so my beaker is like a you know how beaker
okay this is a beaker all right so i put a drop drop here drop of what methylene chloride solution of an uh, of an amphiphile of an amphiphile phi of an amphiphile not files okay one amphiphile dissolved in dichloromethane what is the concentration as i told that is empirically determined usually millimolar okay millimolar if you say if you think that millimolar is not working well then 0.1 millimolar so keep on varying that's that is known as empirically determined experimentally determined concentration and that that may vary from amphiphile to amphiphile nature to nature so now i put drop all over the place and then what will happen methylene chloride is lighter than water okay methylene chloride is lighter than water so it will float not only it will float it will spread all over the place it will spread all over the uh, yeah, surface of water surface so very soon it is uh, all over the place and at that particular room temperature soon it will evaporate if it evaporates then what do i have i have when the amphiphiles are then it will spread rapidly to cover the entire surface and then it will evaporate at, uh, at that particular temperature. So, I am left with pure water and amphiphiles. These amphiphiles hydrophilic part will be inside. Okay. So, hydrophilic part will be inside say suppose inside here hydrophilic part and hydrophobic part as here, 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 maybe here, maybe here, all kinds of, okay. so when the amphiphiles are away these amphiphiles are away because I have large area and we have put amphiphiles it is well distributed, but still they are away one is away from the other. So, they do not exert any interactions amongst them. Okay. So, this condition is regarded as a two dimensional gas 2D gas. So, what is a 2D gas? 2D gas is when these amphiphiles are well distributed, but they do not have a interaction between them. Why they do not have interaction? Because one amphiphile is head is here, other is here, they are kind of far. So, they do not exert any interaction. They will interact only when they are very close, they will have repulsive interaction because both are hydrophilic both similar charge. So, they will have repulsive interaction okay, when they are close. So, when they are close, okay, when they are close, how they become close? If I put my barrier towards here, when I put my barrier towards this, then only little bit of left. That means, I am now shortening the area available to the amphiphiles how the barrier was here let me put this as a barrier so now okay like this let me put another color if i push my barrier towards this then what will happen this will be from here this will push them all here so my these things are now near near to each other okay near to each other and they will exert a repulsive force on each other so this is 
this 2D analog of pressure is called surface pressure pi. So, we know what is 2D gas and now I am talking about surface pressure pi, surface pressure pi. surface pressure pi surface pressure pi is when they come close to each other and exert a repulsive interaction then it is called surface pressure pi and it is liquid like okay now it is given by pi pi is equal to gamma 0 minus gamma. So, gamma, gamma 0 is surface tension of pure water, surface tension of pure water. gamma surface surface tension with monolayer monolayer of amplifile So, amplifiles will come close to each other like this, this okay, all the way and then, then why it will come? Because this barrier is coming close to this fixed barrier. So, it will come, come, come and then become all will be arranged and that is then it will exert a surface pressure that, that pressure can be measured by that machine. Okay. This is called pi and that is also equal to gamma 0, gamma 0 is surface tension of pure water and gamma is surface tension with monolayer of amplifiles. Okay. If we further push it further, suppose when they are touching each other, these head groups are touching each other, if I push the barrier further, then they are not going to run away they have nowhere to go, then what will happen? They will all be forced inside the bulk water, they all will be forced inside the bulk water, okay. that is called collapse. Say so, all will be forced into bulk water and now I am talking about an amplifile and my solvent is water, high dielectric. So, what will form? it will form micellar aggregates okay. because of high dipole moment water and then it is forcing them inside when they come close to each other then they will escape other without any problem. So, effective way would be they will form a micellar structure. Okay. So, this is what happens I am writing here. I am writing now, okay. let me write with a black, okay. it is pressure, this is called pressure, pressure means surface pressure. pressure unit is milli Newton per meter. This is a unit and this one is area per molecule.
angstrom square. Okay. So, let us see. All right. So, I had a gas, gaseous state. I had gaseous state. So, I am slowly increasing the pressure, but press, uh, I, mean, I am what I am doing? I am not slowly increasing the pressure. I am slowly moving by uh, sliding my barrier towards the other fixed barrier. I am sliding slowly moving uh, sliding the barrier towards that other part. So, this is the part here they were very widely. So, now they are coming closer, 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 but still they do not have any, any interaction amongst them. So, pressure is not increasing that much even though area per molecule area per molecule means the molecule how much have how much have area to its disposal. So, when I close this close the gap between two uh, units one is fixed another is movable then area available to uh, to uh, per molecule is less and less. So, this is a uh, less and less because this is increasing side. So, area per molecule is less and less from here okay, some area was there in angstrom whatever the value. Now, the area per molecule is less and less. So, slowly it is coming, but still pressure is not that much because still they are very far. When they come close to each other, they are coming close almost touching each other. Then little bit area if I this decrease that means, further decrease of the area then the pressure will be high, it will increase repulsive pressure, it will increase like this. Then it can have something like this. So, from here this is a gaseous state. this we call gaseous state okay and this is liquid state liquid state liquid state means still there uh, still there is some gap but the gap is such so small that is almost like a order okay very good order and a solid is perfectly ordered. So, it is going slowly, it is increasing the pressure. Now, if I further do it, if I further, further do it, do it what? I further reducing this uh, distance between two. If I come very close, then what will happen? Pressure will increase very much, very much with little bit movement pressure will be increasing very much because when it is solid when it is a solid then nothing moves so i still i am moving so pressure will be tremendously increasing and after certain point pressure can no longer take it the molecules can no longer take it the press, uh, take it then it will collapse so this point is solid solid like state solid like state solid like state and this is collapse as i tell, told you earlier collapse means now, if I put further, if I push it further, molecules as, as uh, molecule uh, know where to go, but what they will do? They are not going to jump and stay in the uh, stay in the vacuum like this, up there. They will be 
forced to go inside the inside the water okay inside the water they will go and that is called collapse they will collapse the whole thing will collapse if they collapse that means there are so many amphiphiles if 50 percent goes then what will happen that pressure will be somewhat released otherwise pressure will be infinite so they will release and that is why they jump go down immediately sharply they go down so this collapse and so what happen in water these things are uh, these things are hanging around but this is not a very stable for water this will reach the cmc or critical micellar concentration and then they will form a micellar structure they will form a micellar structure in there so that in water they will form a micellar structure and they, this pressure will collapse so that's the way it is okay so this thing is done at a particular temperature that's why it is called an isotherm isotherm okay and this isotherm is called this is what i just said pressure area isotherm pressure area isotherm or this can also say langmuir langmuir monolayer isotherm it can say langmuir monolayer isotherm so this is a typical typical picture of pressure area isotherm or mono or uh, this monolayer langmuir isotherm sometimes we do not write monolayer we understood langmuir means monolayer so langmuir means monolayer so this will be the case right now all right so i will write similarly only langmuir isotherm good enough okay so this is what happens at the air air water interface so that is air and this is water interface i can change my change my water by adding something the, the water is called sub phase okay water is called sub phase so in the sub phase i can add any chemical okay i can add some uh, stearic acid or some other compounds and get several different other phenomenon and what happens if at this solid point at this point pressure this is the area per molecule okay this middle part inflection point area per molecule that means here the molecules are touching each other they have no way to go but they are touching each other okay spheres balls see balls are touching spheres and what is happening to the uh, tails tails are in the air tails are all in the air they are like they, they are in space okay in the air so at this point what i can do i can get the monolayer out okay i can get the monolayer out on a substrate like we can take a quartz 
we can take a quartz uh, plate. Here is a quartz plate. Here is a quartz plate. It is attached. So there are techniques are there. Okay. So here is a technique. This quartz plate. I can now. Quartz plate. I can. They are all there like that. So, from water, so from water, this is a solid state, this is we are here, right here. Okay, what I can do? I will dump, I will put it here. So, here we have a water and then my amplifiers are all uh, staying here. So, from one side I put my uh, is all done by computers and all that. So, do not worry about it just exactly just uh, see what, what it does. So, I can put it here and then put it down. So, here I am inside water this this uh, this quartz plate inside water and then I slowly I take it out. As it comes out one layer of this molecule one layer comes with it. Okay. One layer will come with it. Okay. Why it will come? Because that is how they will be hydrophilic here. This is also hydrophilic. So, it will come hydrophilic, hydrophilic and what will happening in my plate, okay, let me see the, I am looking my eyes are here this way, this way, then we see this the plate. So, my quartz plates and in the quartz plate, they will be like this. they can be like this. So, I get a what do I have? I have a mono, mono layer of molecule, precise, very precise, most accurate, which you cannot do otherwise. Okay? So, this is a very, very important technique to have mono layer, but before I do mono layer, I will tell you some other uh, some other points before you take this. Let me say stability of this monolayers. Okay, that but that I will do in my next lecture. Thank you very much.